Hey guys, what's going on? Prex here, and in this video, I have some more Call of Black Ops 3 beta gameplay to share with you guys. And in this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of the Razorback SMG. So, first of all, if you don't know what the Razorback SMG is, basically, it's a submachine with a 30 round mag, awesome fire rate, decent recoil. It's not hard to control at all, and it does do a lot of damage. And it is most similar to the MSMC from Black Ops 2. That's what most people have been saying, and that's what I feel like too, because it just fires like it. It feels li like it, and it does very much play the same way. Like it, I, I you'll see in this gameplay, it's pretty easy to, to take out people in medium range combat. So this is an all-around SMG, since the most of the beta maps are in medium range combat. So that is good. So obviously, it's a submachine that has 30 rounds per mag, and like I said earlier, de decent fire rate, good recoil that's able to be controlled, and, and as well as just a super fast reload and just everything you, you like about an SMG. So anyway, I'm going to tell you guys my recommended attachments and just class setups that I've found to be most si successful with this gun. Alright, so as you see here, in this gameplay I have on a red dot sight, and that could be good because sometimes the iron sights could be a little annoying so if the iron sights do bother you then slap on a red dot sight but but the standard sight is fine if that does not bother you next up i use quick jar because quick jar is just always a good, a good thing to have in call of duty even on smgs just that extra second to aim that sight faster can really make a difference and then this next uh, attachment slot is variable uh so you could either use grip or stock uh, i use grip personally now just because i like to build a strafe e even faster you know back and forth but grip if you want to make the recoil even less that is a good option so either use grip or stock depending on your play style like if you're more of a rusher or if you want to stay back a little more because this gun is good for all types of combat and situations and stuff like that you know just not for those super long range gunfights that suck all right so now as for the kill shakes the only ones that I, I had unlocked unlocked at the time was the uav hellstorm and the talon so just run whatever streaks you want but for sure the uav because it's still a beta and people are gonna want to still learn the maps and know where people are so uav is always good to have and then hellstorm could always get you a few kills and then talon i never earned yet so uh, i'll have to see how that is but i've heard that it is pretty good and then as for the perks for my perk one i use two perks i use six cents and the afterburner now the six cents really helps because when you're close to an enemy in the same building it will give you a, a ping on your radar so you'll know in what direction they are so that really helps and then i use afterburner because say like you're Say you slide and then you try to jump over like a dead end or, or a place where, where you'll die. Then your thrusters will recharge faster. So it'll, it'll give you that extra jump and ability to be able to get to that spot or try to, try to go wherever you want to go. Now for perk 2, I use fast hands because fast hands is always good to have. Especially for how fast Black Ops 3 plays because... Fast hands let, let you reload while sprinting, shoot while sprinting, and as well as throw grenades and equipment while sprinting. I've, I don't know, well, fast hands, I'm not sure exactly what it does. I forgot. That might be gun hill, but I know it uh, lets you do certain stuff faster, so that's all. So that's an all good thing to have as well. And then gun ho finally. That's the, the one that lets you shoot while sprinting, reload while sprinting, and just do everything while sprinting so that you're quick as possible, but you're still very effective while you're sprinting. This is good for rushers, so if you're not a rusher and you like to play more defensively, then maybe staying back w will be better for you than maybe like you use awareness so you could hear a enemy's ladder or just something that will play better to your playstyle. So overall guys I think that this is the best SMG but by far I still kinda like 
the ARK7 Beretta, but for SMGs and close quarters, this is a good ob option. And um, I, I did touch the Locust bolt action sniper rifle, and I do think that it is a, a, a pretty good sniper. I did snipe a little, but not too much. Not enough to have gameplay out at least, but if you guys still do want gameplay, leave a comment down below and I will try to get that for you guys in the future. And also, killstreak wise, if you want to see footage of any killstreak that is available in the beta, drop a comment down below and I will try to earn that. But uh, yeah guys, so today we hit 975 subscribers, that is absolutely awesome. And especially since we started out with like in the late 950s or like 960 or whatever so we gained at least 15 subscribers today so so i just want to say to you guys that thank you for that and thank you who thank you to you guys again who participated in the beta code giveaway because i was happy to make some of you guys happy and play the game and whatever but yeah guys so we are one we are less than 25 away from 1k so hopefully we could hit that soon that'd be awesome if we could hit that by the by the end of this week or i don't know sometime soon and that is the razorback smg review so overall pretty much like the msmc from black ops 2 fan favorite and it is good for most situations so if you want to unlock a gun this is what i would really really recommend to unlock because it is overall beast but yeah guys so if you enjoyed the video please smack the like button subscribe if you're new tell me what you want me Tell, tell me what you want to see from me regarding Black Ops 3 Beta, and I'll try to do that. Help us get to 1K. We're, we're 25 away. Ho hopefully we hit that soon. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Take care. Peace out.